Hello everyone, it's Wednesday and it's time for a little astrology lesson. Here it is December 2nd and within about two and a half weeks, both Jupiter and Saturn will enter the sign of Aquarius. Now, this is very important because they are going to meet in a conjunction at the same place at the same time on December 21st. For the first time, Jupiter and Saturn are conjuncting since the year 2000, May of 2000. This conjunction happens every 20 years. This time it will happen once and move forward. Now, they are occurring in the sign of Aquarius, and this is an important conjunction because it is the end of an era and the beginning of a new era. And that is always the case with this aspect, which happens every 20 years. What this is not, and there's a lot of misleading information online, this is not the dawning of the age of Aquarius. That has to do with the procession of the equinoxes. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you can look it up online. You can look, up, look it up on NASA's website and on Wikipedia. Various places online will explain the technical details of the procession of the equinoxes. The entire procession going through the entire zodiac is 25,000 to 26,000 years long, meaning it spends, each sign gets about 2,000 years of procession. We are still in the Piscean age. We are not in the age of Aquarius and won't be for at least another 100 or so years. This Piscean age started with the dawn of Christianity. It has to do with spirituality. It has to do with religion. It has to do with belief systems. The peace and love and grooviness of the 60s was not the age of Aquarius either. That's really Piscean. All that peace and love and yoga and all that, that's Pisces. That's not Aquarius. Aquarius is about technology, intellect, knowledge, learning, science, advancements, futuristic thinking. Now, when there are transitions from one age to the other, there are signs and hints of the following coming age. And we already have those. We have a technological world, the internet. We ha went to the moon. All of these technological advances are indicative of the Aquarian age. But the level of spirituality and uh, devotion to uh, religious beliefs and all, that's very Piscean. And so we are not quite in the Aquarian age, although my teacher used to say, the Aquarian Age began the first time a phone rang anywhere because it was an advancement in technology. However, Jupiter and Saturn will join in Aquarius. The last time they were in Aquarius together was 1962, and that was not the beginning of the Age of Aquarius either. And there are people who live every day, born in 1962, the early part of 1962, and they were not conjunct those two planets. They live with six or seven planets in Aquarius. They were not born during the age of Aquarius. <laughs> so if you are looking at the internet and you read things about this being the dawn of the age of Aquarius, it's not correct. We are going to talk more about Jupiter and Saturn joining in Aquarius and that they are going to probably bring another level of technological advancement um, while they are remaining in the same sign. I will be talking about this over the coming weeks. It's a big deal. If, in the meantime, you'd like more information about Jupiter and Saturn conjuncting, there is this book, The Jupiter-Saturn Conference Lectures by Liz Green and Stephen Arroyo. It was written in 1981 when there was a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Libra. From 1980 to 1981, there were actually three conjunctions, three times Jupiter and Saturn met in the air sign of Libra. So, this is an interesting book, if you can find it online, and it will give you more of an explanation about what Jupiter and Saturn actually do. Jupiter is the planet of abundance and optimism. Saturn restricts and is more pessimistic. They seem to be opposites, but they do work together. I just wanted to clarify that this is not the dawning of the age of Aquarius, but we will talk more about this in the coming weeks.